You're watching Telecom TV from SDN NFE World Congress in The Hague. And joining me now is Javier Benitez, who is Senior Network Architect at Colt. Good to see you on Telecom TV again. Thank, Thank you very really much, my pleasure. Um, we, we're obviously going to be talking about the, the network transformation journey. This is a big focus on SDN and, and NFV. Um, and how it's really helping operators move from pure connectivity into our digital service providers. But you know, first of all, um, what is the ultimate benefit to operators and CSPs in going through this network transformation journey? So this, this transformation journey is, is uh, driven by customers to start with. So this is a, a transformation that we started because customers were telling us that they needed uh, services to be delivered and consumed in a different way. Uh, we started back in 2015, for instance, just uh, addressing a, an initial demand which was uh, Ethernet on demand. Mm -hmm. Customers wanted to buy Ethernet in a different way. And that's kind of uh, started really the transformation uh, uh, internally in Colt in trying to adapt to customer, de customer mm -hmm. demand. So that's, that's really the, I mean, from our perspective, the transformation is all about delivering a new customer digital experience. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, what we've uh, tried to do since 2015 in delivering connectivity on demand, now focus on network virtualization to deliver uh, services on top of connectivity on demand, and, and we continue this, this journey. Uh, but, but yeah, it's, it's all about new customer experience mm. uh, in a new digital world, consuming services uh, in real time uh, in what we call uh, network mm. cloud uh, approach, if you want. So how do the two main technologies benefit and how, how, how do they help them become DSPs, SDN and NFE? So SD, SDN is, is uh, I mean, is helping in uh, delivering network programmability. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that was our first use case. As I mentioned, we had to deliver uh, Ethernet in a different way, Ethernet on demand. You cannot do that without uh, a technology that allows you to program the network. Mm -hmm. So SDN is, is basically giving us this uh, control in the network, this programmability that allow us to deliver Ethernet on demand, uh, allow us to deliver SD1, for instance. Uh, so that's, that's the first part of the strategy, right? Connectivity on demand, basic connectivity on demand. The, the second one is NFB. NFB brings uh, the possibility of uh, delivering services on top of connectivity that can also be delivered in the same model. Right. Uh, real time, uh, full customer control, and that's only possible with a software type of functionality. So, so that's uh, NFB uh, really building, building on top of connectivity mm -hmm. on demand, which and is what, SDN. What, what progress, progress has Colt seen so far? Because this is an ongoing process for you. I think I think the progress has been significant. As I mentioned, we started this transformation in uh, 2015, mm. uh, and and since then, I mean, we've launched products and we have actual revenues uh, that we can report. I mean, it's 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 been really uh, uh, significant uh, in the last one year. I mean, we we launched Ethernet on demand a couple of years ago, but uh, really the 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 take from customers it's been significant. So we've launched Ethernet on demand. That's a, 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 a real proposition. We've launched SD1. Uh, we launched Universal CP last week, which is part of our nerv network virtualization mm -hmm. uh, solution. So you know, um, I, th I think there has been some significant progress. We have revenue. We have customers, and hopefully, it's it's a, it's an evolution that mm -hmm. that we will continue adding new capabilities, like for instance, Internet on demand, which is something that we are launching on top of Ethernet. So. So yeah, I mean, we, s we see traction, we see revenue, so what else can we ask for? <laughs> <laughs> One of the other um, areas of, of great growth at the moment and interest is the edge and edge networking and moving our networks closer to our customers. W what, is, what is Colt's view of, of the opportunities and, and, and challenges of edge deployments? Yeah, I think uh, that's, that's, um, that's an important um, discussion and an opportunity that we are uh, currently considering in Colt. I mean, as I mentioned, we launched Universal CP very recently, uh, initially to support our SD1 proposition. Uh, uh, the idea is that we want the CP device that sits uh, in our customer edge to be a platform that enables uh, network virtualization and and and, and supports this uh, strategy of uh, delivering services in, 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 in a non-demand fashion. Uh, so we've launched Universal CP. For us, I mean, this, this is already our age, but uh, we are trying to see what comes 
uh, beyond this universal CP, uh, and, and we are in the process of building uh, an edge strategy yeah. beyond the universal CP. And, and this is going to be based on uh, us being able to deliver kind of a tenant a space on on the on the edge device where we can only we, we can not only deliver our own functions our own vnfs that are going to be always related to connectivity or security but also enable partners to mm -hmm. uh, consume that infrastructure that we manage to deliver third-party applications and uh, and uh, we are thinking about use cases around uh, iot smart cities smart buildings uh, even 5g to support mobile operators uh, a smart CDN, etc. So yes, yeah, definitely a very applicable. I mean, and, and it's our next step uh, in in our virtualization journey. And this virtualization journey has been ongoing for a number of, of years now. The industry has has been focused on NFV and getting NFV working. There's been a lot of talk recently about there being too many NFV infrastructure variants and trying to get the architectures consolidated in yep. a way. Um, is, is this something that, that we, we, we really must do? Definitely, yeah. It's, it's something that we have also suffered mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, in uh, trying to build a, 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 an end-to-end -end network virtualization platform. We cover all the different aspects from orchestration to NFV infrastructure. Actually, on the orchestration piece, we actually put that evaluation on hold. Uh, because uh, also at the orchestration level, the industry uh, uh, hasn't settled down uh, mm -hmm. and there are many different initiatives, so we just couldn't make a decision. On the NFV infrastructure itself, um, I, I agree as well. I mean, I think there are some good initiatives going on. There are even new players trying to simplify mm -hmm. the original Etsy ar architecture that we mm -hmm. are following, uh, things like Lean NFV and, and, and others. So, so yeah, I mean, certainly there is some work to go. Uh, some rationalization to be done, but in the meantime, uh, what we cannot do is really stop. Mm -hmm. So, so we are progressing, and we actually, uh, I mean, um, uh, announced in this conference that we uh, are have plans to go for an NFBI deployment in our telco cloud early next year. It's, it's not going to be the perfect architecture; it's not going to be the the final one. But, but yeah, I mean, uh, we will we will move our, uh, on on this. And as we we forge ahead with our NFE deployments and, and, and further the progress of NFE, we're also, as an industry, starting to talk about cloud native architectures. Yep. Um, this seems to be something that is, is, is coming from the cloud players, but in terms of the telecoms network, there are a lot of questions still to be, to be uh, addressed. This isn't something that's going to happen overnight, is it? This is going to be a, more of a long-term evolution. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes perfect sense. I mean, looking into the future, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I mean, this is where the, tech, the, the industry will go over time. But, uh, I mean, being honest and, and transparent for us, uh, we just need to deliver the basic network virtualization. So, so for us, it's, it's really not uh, a, a top priority in our agenda. We just want to uh, launch the initial wave of network virtualization, support the current services uh, that we have and use cases. And, 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 and yeah, I mean, for sure, something to come in the future, yeah. but not uh, something that worries us at the moment. Great. Well, NFE is keeping us plenty busy at the moment. But for it now, Javier, thanks very much for joining us on Telecom TV. No problem. My, my pleasure.